Welcome to Ring Central Coliseum in Oakland, home of the A's. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers going up against the Oakland Athletics. First pitch coming your way next. Just a little bit away from first pitch and towing the slab here, Osvaldo Beto. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center on Duhar. Falls it in, and there's one away. Time now for Dave Roberts' lineup for the Los Angeles Dodgers. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Teoscar Hernandez. And Boog, he's a big-time run producer for these guys, man. Leading the team in homers, runs batted in, doing damage on the regular, man. Making opposing pitchers just sweat out there. It's kind of fun to watch. Get ready for a show when he steps into the box. One ball, two strikes. Kicks and deals. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Rooker coming on. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. That is third. The second base. Gavin. And now it's Gavin Lux. Two outs. In the air to left down the line. And no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. The line to kick the pitch. Conan looking for the K. Dodgers go down quietly, and the A's will get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here in the East Bay, and starting this one, number 77. Singy, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? I definitely say so. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just you know, having the comforts of being at home and having the fans behind them. But this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some hostile go. environment. So when you have the a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes, you definitely like your chances away from your home ballpark. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. And this place is rocking. And that gives him a lead. It's 1-0. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself. At bat after at bat, he's that confident. sure how he kept that fair when you're out in front on a breaking ball like that it's such a good chance that it's gonna hook foul but not this time he kept the hands moving forward just long enough to sneak it inside that foul pole here's Miguel and Duhar just missed offering is in for a strike with the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters ouch Perfect. he had two strikes on him and he hit him but right now he's thinking man i wish that would have been an off speed play but instead of fastball and you can tell that hurts a little bit this is J.J. Blade. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike ball, two. Two strikes. Right-hander kicks, deals. And another ball. Left 
center for a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Well, that was one of those high percentage that advantage is. counts where batting the averages wizard. are just so much higher. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Now it's the right fielder, Brent Rooker, and a pitch. That's down and in. This might be the most pressure you put on this guy today. You got one run in. You got to try to get another one or maybe two. The pitch. Aye. On Duhar at second, Lede on at first with nobody out. On the ground to third, and that's a base hit coming home. He scores, and they take a two-run lead. Picks himself up at RBI. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. So here's Brown at the plate. A 1-1. One, one. And a foul ball. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Ball and delivers outside. outside. Down the line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. At the belt and fires. Grounder might be two. Lux. Ahmed for one. Back to first, and that is a double play. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Abraham Toro. The pitch. And that one ripped to left. And that is the third out of the inning. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. We move to the second here in Oakland. It's the A's two, and the Dodgers nothing. Back in Oakland, new inning down. getting started. And the right batter right now, here. Jason Hayward. And another ball. Swings through that. Mike Fillmore played on fire. Very consistent with his zone, Chris. Gets a lot of praise for that. He does, Boog, and I think that with any umpire, you really just want them to be consistent. Fillmore's a guy that does a good job back there in that way, so people around the league really appreciate his consistency. Here comes a pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. And a pitch. Lined, and that's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself that into a good hit. count. Pretty good spot. Hard and inside. That's a perfect example of keeping your hands inside the ball tight to the body. The ability to take that back up the middle shows his approach is to use the entire field. Here's Kike Hernandez in the air right field. Rooker in position, hauls it in for the out. And there's one down. Batting fifth, the first, the first base, base number six, Kevin. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. Now, Siggy, this is a guy that grew up in big league clubhouses, and it's something that you see throughout the game. Sons, whose fathers also played the majors. Hopped up. 
Brown makes the catch and there's two away. Well, that's a frustrating into the at bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics, and instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. The Dodgers trailing by two here at the top of the second. He swings and fouls one off. I can only imagine the comfort level of being in the ballpark for those kids who are fortunate enough to have a dad that played in the big leagues. Them being on the baseball oh, field for some plate. it's pressure for them they feel that they are right at home. And here comes Three and eight. another ball. Hayward off of first with two away. And ball, ball four, four to a board. Not nah, what he wanted to do there, Boo. He that keeps this inning alive and gives this offense a good Austin. chance to cut into their deficit. Oh. So two on with two away. Austin Barnes steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Two ball. That one almost one got him. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Two on, two outs. Out of bounce right side. Toro throws the first in time. And that is that. Dodgers strand a couple. They trail it here, 2 nothing. And we're back. And now the catcher McCain. comes up to him. Kyle McCain. McCain. Kyle McCain. McCain. 1-1 one, one now. And there's a foul ball. Left hand hitter waits. This is inside. Two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Good late cut for the strike out there. That thing really got in on him. And you know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. Kicks and fires. Ground ball up the middle. Ahmed to first. Already two out here in the home that half of that. inning number two. That's your two outs, space is empty. Next up, it's the first year shortstop. Two outs, space is empty. The one two that oh. one just misses it's a good take swing and a ball ripped down towards right center field and a touchdown for a hit around first and hustling for second the throw in and he'll make it safely that's a double well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Lawrence Butler up next for the A's. Man at second. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Outman makes the play. That is the inning. The A's strand one. But they hold the 2 0 lead. And welcome back to the ballpark. Nick Ahmed here to hit. Nick Ahmed. And he deals. Swing and a miss as he was late. One ball, two strikes. Pitch. Three. Got him looking. One out. And a 
up to the plate is Will Smith. One out, base is empty. There's a strike. That misses. And the count's even at two. One down, base is empty. Well struck left field. Anduhar going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Well, off the bat, I thought for sure it had enough to get out of here, but that wind's kind of blowing in from left, and I think that's what made the difference. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Two down, nobody on. And a swing and a miss. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. Dodgers down in order. And they're down 2 nothing. As we go to the last of the third, digging in for Oakland, Miguel Andujar. Wind in the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The wind of the pitch. This one popped up. Middle of the infield. Lux gets under it. One up, one down. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but the so hard field. to get Number on top of his hitter. JJ. And now the center fielder, J.J. Bladé. And the pitch. The Chris hey. through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. And the righty deals. High fly ball out to center field. Outman in and to his right. Puts it away for the out. Two away. Now bat right fielder. Brent. Two outs, space is empty. Brent Rooker up next for the A's. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Righty delivers. Two balls, two strikes. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Outman settles underneath it. And that'll do it. Back here in the East Bay as we go to the top of the fourth. And stepping in is the speedy Gavin Lux. And a pitch. Check swing. He went too far, and it's a strike. One ball, two strikes. And another ball. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. That misses. And that's ball three. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff ball. And that's ball, ball four. four. That, in. that could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Here's Jason Hayward. Lux gets his lead at first with nobody out. Nope. That's a little bit low. Ah. 
swing and a miss, and now two and two. <laughs> Righty to the plate. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Cole gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Try to take on the wind in left field right there. Just a little too much traffic up in the air. Mother Nature won that one. It's hard to say, but I think that might be gone otherwise. Kevin Biggio with a chance to hit. Right side. Tosses the first. Oh. And the inning is over. One left for L.A. They're still down. It's 2-zip. Ready to go. Ready to go. Bottom four. four. Striding to the plate the now for Oakland. Base. Seth Brown. Brown. The pitch. Swings and misses. Two and two now. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Now bad. The second base. Abraham Toro, the next to hit. The 1-1. One, one. That one at the knees for a strike. On the ground to third. There's Hernandez handling the chance. Sends it across the first. Already two gone here in the home fourth. The catcher. Kyle. Here's the catcher, Kyle McCann. Two outs. Ball, that's inside. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. The throw is still in time, and they get it out of the play. A's go quickly and quietly there, but they're on top 2 nothing. Back in Oakland, we go to the top of the fifth. Here's the center fielder, James Outman. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Now a fly ball to right center. On the move to the gap. Makes the grab one away. Now that Austin Barnes. And up next for Los Angeles, Austin Barnes. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. Way outside. It's two and two. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Here's the shortstop at the play. Nick Ahmed. The Athletics leading by two. And we're at the top of the fifth. And that skips in the dirt. Line drive. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. They trail things here to nothing.
And we're back. Here's Tyler Nevin to the plate. On the mound, he had a little trouble back in the first, but it's been a different story the rest of the way. Really settled into this outing nicely. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Outman settles underneath it, and it's caught for the out. Up next, Up next for Oakland, Oakland. the shortstop. shortstop. And the batter will be the shortstop. The why to kick the pitch. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A solo shot, and they tack on to their lead. It's 3 nothing. swing on that one and everything was on time took a direct path to the ball excellent extension and just drove it out of here nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that so the Oakland lineup turns over Lawrence Butler up next for the A's swing and a miss and he was fooled one ball two straight One and two now. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the second out. Thought it was a pretty good now, pitch. Now, now. Top of the strike no, zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Uh, Hitters, uh, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the left fielder, Miguel Andujar. Hit hard. That gets through. And that keeps the inning alive. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back, back up the middle. The timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Executed changeup right there. If he can command the fastball consistently, that's going to be an important pitch in terms of him turning this outing around. And now it's one and two. Backed off ball. the plate that time. Straighten him up a two little ball. bit. Two strike. Three. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Snuck the fastball by him. A solo homer adds to the Oakland lead. As the A's are on top, you're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back we to the ballpark. And now the DH, Will Smith. Will. Smith. It's a leadoff oh, walk for Will Smith. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. The hitter Sanchez. didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry Teoscar about over at first. Hernandez. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Next pitch in for a strike. In a count, one and two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from the same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Smith at first, one gone. Ito picks over. Smith back on a dive. Hey. 
ripped on a line to center. Lede makes the grab. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jason Hayward. Left hand batter waits. Swings through that one. One ball. The Dodgers trailing by three. And we're at the top half of the sixth. And that one almost hit him. Two outs. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Kicks and deals. Battling here as he fouls it away. And a pitch. A swing and a miss. Struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. It's the A's three and the Dodgers nothing. Back now, down for the bottom of the sixth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Seven, Shohei Otani. And this is the best way to make your major league debut. No one on base. Yeah, you're already going to be a little nervous out there, so I think it's a nice job by the skipper to get him in here without any added pressure with traffic on the bases. So digging in, Brent Rooker. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. The 1-1. One -one. Right with the swing there. Well, that's that slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. And talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Fights that one away, still one and two. Three. Some heat there at 98 miles an hour. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking no, no, it, no. thinking it might be no, a cold three, ball three. or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Yeah. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. One down, base is empty. Just off the inside corner. And yeah, that's ball two. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Daniel Hudson looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Yarbrough, a left-hander, also throwing. And yeah, the right-hander deals. Got it by him for the K. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches the out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Getting he's straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. He's not fun at bats if you're a hitter. And I'm so glad I'm retired. The 1-1 is fouled off. And now it's even up. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Oakland goes quietly. And the A's are gone in order. But they lead it 3-0. We go to the top of the seventh. Here's Kike Hernandez. And a 2-1 on the way. And that one fouled off. Timing issues can snowball quickly, and that's what we're witnessing here. This lineup's inability to lock on to the pitcher's delivery is causing a few awkward swings. That was swinging, and there's one down. Well, I think he's got to be feeling pretty invincible out there on the mound right now. I mean, he's got the shutout working so far, and even when he challenges these guys, he's getting away with it. That pitch right there really wasn't anything special, a hittable pitch, but he gets the punch out. And now the first baseman, Kevin Biggio. Right-hander kicks deals. 
And hey. now one and two. This pitcher's done a one good ball. job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. One down, base is empty. And another ball. Out to center, under it. And makes the grab. And there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. James Outman digs in now. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. That one ripped. That's back there. And that one's gone. He sends it out of here. Home run number five on the season, and they've got their first run. It's 3-1. Things might get pretty interesting if they keep connected on pitches like that. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Osvaldo Beto done for the night. He exits with the lead and gave them a really nice performance. New pitcher on the bump when we get back. T.J. McFarland gets the call from the pen. He's averaging more than one hit allowed per inning pitch this season, and that's not where you want to be at all. So we'll see how he does here. Base is empty with two away. Austin Barnes now at the plate. And Great another ball. ball. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first no, base no, is going to no. have a very the aggressive football. secondary lead. Yeah, so, yeah. ball down the line uh -huh. or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Tying run at the plate. Fought off foul. On the ground to the left. They take the force out. That's the third out. Dodgers claw back a bit with this homer. It's now a 3-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in the East Bay, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now here's the A's catcher, Kyle McCann. Kyle. And a 1-1. Tied him up inside with that one. Good pitch right one there. Ball. Tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the bump, I'm going right back in there. Three. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. Well, that high four-seam fastball has become such a staple as a strikeout pitch over the years. The and what's so the tough as a hitter three. is that you see it extremely well. The problem is the velocity at spin rate just happens to jump by you. You expand your zone, you don't stay tall on the backside, and you're really not even able to make contact. If you do, many times it's a pop up. And that's in for a strike. We got a full count. Chopper to second, Lux. In plenty oh. of time to first, two up, two down. Now, now batter, shortstop, Matt Schumann. Now it's the shortstop. Two down, nobody on. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. 
Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That one's back there. That's not coming down. Another homer. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. It's 4-1. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. So the lineup flips over. Next up for the A's, Lawrence Butler. Two down, base is empty, but one run across here at the bottom of the seventh. Next offering upstairs. Swing and a miss struck him out. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. It's now 4-1. Major League Baseball is on the show. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Michelle Otanez. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. The batter now will be Will Smith. Base hit, center field. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. So up next, Teoscar Hernandez. The pitch. Fair ball. Smith, round second on his way to third. Throw comes in, runner stop, second and third, nobody out. No, oh, it didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. Kind of your classic jam yeah, shot yeah, blooper right there. Yeah, Paid a good pitch on the inside, gotten to hit it off the handle, but he still muscled it out there. You just have to tip your cap on the mound. And maybe they've got something going here, trying to get back into this one. Gavin Lux steps to the plate for the Dodgers. That's out to center field. Lede sizes this one up, makes the grab. Runner tags for home. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. And it's now a two-run game. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter, Jason Hayward. Get on base here and keep building off this momentum. They're getting closer, but they still got some work to do. The tying run at the plate. And, and another down. ball. You got two balls, one strike. Swing and a miss. Two and two. two and he really two sells strike. the changeup with that arm action. struck him out. Typically that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Kike Hernandez Ball steps out. to the plate for the Dodgers. Two balls, one strike. Out to short. Gets it to first. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. One run, a pair of hits, no errors, and one left on. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Athletics four and the Dodgers two. 
Back now, now new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Daniel Hudson. And he's been fantastic this year, really stingy in terms of allowing base runners. He's just got great stuff that's tough to square up. So digging in, Miguel Andujar. No left field. Miguel Andujar. And another ball, Hudson. A very difficult guy to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to string stuff together against him. He wins every pitch, and for a hitter, sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of his pitches. Way out front for strike two. Unless he beats himself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control command that day, you can pretty much forget about it. And downstairs, as a hitter, there's even more pressure to take advantage of any mistake, right? Yeah, and you're hoping that you know somehow, some way, whether it's a hit by pitch, a walk, something bad happens because outside of that, his stuff is just too good to fail. Three, two on the way. Left field should have this one. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. And he's got just deception in his delivery. And it's not that he's trying to deceive the hitters. He just has this natural yeah. flow that makes it hard for hitters to pick the ball up. It gets on them a little bit quicker than they anticipate, even though they know what the velocity numbers are. Eight. Comes up empty. Two. That's strike two. Two balls, two strikes. Base is empty one away here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. Out now number back. two. The right field. Two outs, base is empty. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Brent Rooker. The one one. That's hard hit on the line. Hernandez makes the catch in and over. Three up, three down that time. Through eight full. It's the Athletics four and the Dodgers two. Closer, Chad Noll. A chance at his first no. save of the year. Kevin Biggio getting ready to hit. And he gets a fastball by him upstairs. The high fastball, particularly for young hitters, can be hard to lay off of because you see it so well at eye level, but it's really hard to catch up and get that top hand to work on time. Is that one out of the zone and a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth? Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door, cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Here comes a pitch. That one lifted to left. And there's two down. Now that off in So last chance for the Dodgers. Now at the plate, Austin Barnes. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Two and one.
They're hey. down to their final strike. <laughs> no is just one strike away. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. That's tremendous fight from him, and I know it's got the dugout fired up down there. Down to the last strike, and he comes up with a hit to keep the game alive. It ain't over yet. Here's the shortstop at the play. Nick Ahmed tying run at the plate. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. Two outs. Popped up. And that is the ball game. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on the wall. You just can't forget your first save. And your final, 4-2. Oakland hangs on to win it. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.